What is up everybody, it is Soundhead back once again, and today we begin our NASCAR Heat 3 career mode. Let's go ahead and jump into it here. Obviously, we we're probably going to want to adjust some settings before we jump in. And uh, we've got a decision to make here about the difficulty. Now, I've been told that Legendary is really annoyingly hard. Um, so I think I'm going to try out hard at first, and then if we feel like that's too easy, we'll bump it up. Uh, so we'll give it a few uh, episodes before we decide that. I'm going to go with single race stages and uh, quick qualifying for the first uh, season of, you know, dirt racing, basically. And then once we move up, I'll change to the other stuff. But that'll about do it for this. Welcome to the Extreme Dirt Tour. Many of today's biggest stars got their start competing on dirt. The racing is tough, but with hard work and a little help from a former champion, you can succeed. My name's Haley Deegan. I'm from Temecula, California, and I got my start in racing when I was eight years old in off-road trucks. Racing on dirt tracks is like nothing else. I feel like it's where I go to let loose, kind of get away from the precision, finesse driving. I feel like off-road racing has taught me so much just being aggressive, really hard racing, hitting hard, and I feel like that transfers really well into stock car racing. Let's go start your career. Hi, welcome to the Extreme Dirt Tour. Racing on dirt is pretty intense. Don't worry, just stick with me and you'll do great. First, you'll have to prove yourself by filling in for drivers on other teams. Those opportunities are called hot seats. If you do well enough, you'll get a full contract offer to a full-time ride next season. Let's go head out to the track and see what you got. Champions need to start somewhere. All right, that'll do it for Haley Deegan. And is that Ace Moneymaker? No, it's a guy named Warren. That's our agent. And he's letting us know that uh, we've got some hot seats to partake in. I think we all kind of understand the concept of the hot seat by now, but we kind of have to prove ourselves in different uh, leveled cars. So three-star, four-star, five-star teams. I'm not sure how many races there will be, but I'm sure we'll at least get a shot in one of each. So we've got an offer for week two. And it is to drive a three-star car and get a top 20 finish. That shouldn't be too hard. All right, we're here at the Charlotte Dirt Track. And uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Go qualifying. Up the final corner there. And 16th qualifying. That's not too bad, actually. That's a lot better than I expected. Right on. All right, this thing is about to get underway. The Mountain Dew 100. And uh, we'll go through the field here to get our late-breaking stories. I guess there was only one late-breaking story, and it was that somebody was doing as well as they were expected to do. So we are ready to go green here at Charlotte for our first dirt race. Career mode is officially underway in NASCAR Heat 3. Here we go into the first two corners here. So, uh, yeah, dirt racing. I've got a couple of races under my belt in the dirt series now. So, uh, not really sure how we're going to stack up, especially using a three-star car. But uh, we, we shouldn't have too much trouble getting a top 20, considering we're already inside the top 20. I think there's only 23 cars. So, this really shouldn't be too difficult, but I am getting pretty racy here with the guys for 15th place. Going to hog my inside here. And, of course, and then Maccabe there just leaves us for chips, takes us right down the inside, and he gets three free spots from that. Wow. So back into 17th now, and make that 18th now. <laughs> Scott has me down the inside. I'll try to cross underneath him there. There's going to be contact. Ooh, he kind of lifted up off the ground there. Didn't expect that. Move up a couple spots there. See, uh, he can't get the car to turn that well, though. All right, he's gonna look at my inside. Not really in any danger of going outside the top 20 though, so these guys can pass me, race me, whatever. It's not too crazy important for me to gain any more positions. If I finish right here, I'd be totally fine. Again, these hot seat races, we all kind of know the deal, so if uh, I'm sure these will be a little bit more condensed just for the first episode. So, uh, yeah, but I'm having fun. Should be interesting. But, oh, he's going to get a nose up underneath me. That's a little bit of what I was worried about there. Let me try and look underneath him. 
He, ooh, he gets me in the back there. Come on, let's keep moving here. We gotta keep 15th from him. Come on, we gotta... Let's get this, this 15th spot. Let's get top 15. Why not? Set myself a little late race goal. White flag is out. I got him right underneath me. And I actually kind of cut him off there, and that's going to kill his momentum. And that will lead us as long as we don't really scrub this corner. And we didn't. So we will come home with a 15th position finish in our first dirt race of NASCAR Heat 3 career mode. Not too bad. There's your finishing order. There we were. One of the last cars on the last uh, on the lead lap. Luckily we didn't get caught a lap down. Not that it would really matter. All right. That's our first race in the books. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll head back to the shop. All right. So we got a 15th. We got two whole fans from that whole experience. Nice. Two fans. I'll take it. All right, we got another offer here for week 12. This is another three-star team for another top 20. All right, so qualifying done. Let's go ahead and jump right into the race. And let's go ahead and change our setup a little bit here. I think that might help. We'll see, though. All right, getting ready to go green here at Bristol. We're underway. And uh, this one can be kind of a madhouse, if you will. This, the dirt race in here is just crazy, but it's it's really fun from what I can tell. So we get ourselves into the 20th position rather quickly. And I don't think it'll be too difficult for us to grab a couple more. And then ride it out till the end. Kind of going to be the game plan for these hot seat races, and it'll get easier as we move up in cars. So once we get a four-star or a five-star, I assume we'll... I have no challenge getting with those, so maybe I should turn up the legendary difficulty. I'll, I might give it a few races into the next season just to see, because it also depends on how on what level of car we take, which is you know to be determined, to be decided. But uh, I assume I'll have access to all of them, you know, barring we don't have any kind of unforeseen circumstances where we fail a hot seat mission as we crack the top ten there. With a nice little move to the bottom. These guys are all stacked up in the corners there. That's giving us prime opportunity. We're looking at ninth place even. And we're going to get passed on the outside for 10th. Let me try to take it free wide to the bottom. No big deal. It happens. All right. Got a guy looking on our low side. Got a couple guys looking on our low side there. But we... Maintain the position. We got him looking on our outside though, and there's the he wasn't even looking. He just he just took it He just went straight by me Didn't even think twice about it, and there really wasn't much I could do about it either So back at a tenth and I might even lose tenth here in a moment because this guy is all over my back bumper He's all up in my uh, fuel tank there It's almost I almost kind of wish I didn't have the mirror on at times. I know you can turn it off, but Yeah, I feel like it just Takes away, and that's why right there I hit that apron and it sent me up the track. And that's going to cause us a couple positions, and then I'll send us back to 12th here. Not the end of the world, though. We're still good. Uh, he's going to get a power down. Man, they just get the power down so much better than I do. On the straightaway, they just have so much more power. It's, they just blow by me like I'm standing still. So Lewis gets through, not without some contact. See if I can give him a bump. I think I actually gave him a push. I think I just helped him through that corner right there. Two laps to go now. And, uh, yeah. What can be said? We're in, <laughs> we're in the clear. Not really much to worry about. Doesn't really look like there's anybody even behind us in jeopardy of passing us. Just gotta hang on for another lap now as the white flag is out. Is out. Rather, can't talk. Been awake for too long playing this game since it came out. Into the final corners. It looks like we're going to come home a lucky number 13 at Bristol on the dirt. Another objective completed. So that's good. That's what we're looking for. I don't think I'll be signing with a three-star three team unless something miraculous happens. But you never know. Thinking a four-star team, kind of, but we'll have to see what our options are. I almost got lap, one of the last cars on the lead lap again. Two races in a row. 
Yikes. All right, so we gained four fans that time. We're up to six. And we've completed that hot seat challenge. And we got a tweet from Todd Laguerre congratulating us. I guess he wasn't really congratulating us, but we finally got an offer. Took us a couple tries there. We got a four-star race team right here. So this ought to be interesting. Got to get a top 14. All right, so... Only one spot out of where we need to be here at Eldora. Qualified 15th. Got to pass one car. Shouldn't be too difficult. And of course, we've moved up to a four-star car now. So this should be a little bit less challenging now. Which is always appreciated. We have made our way into the top 14 as we slide and slam into the number 17 there. Nothing too terrible, though. We're all right. Moving our way, having a look at the top 10 here, and we get into the top 10 with that pass right there. So not too bad of a start. Man, one to go already. This has been the most boring race I think I've run this far. I know I've only run two races, three including this one. But uh, just been locked in 10th, and I can't get to the guy who's just in front of me, and the guy behind me couldn't get to me either. So we'll take it. That's another objective completed. Top 14, got 10th. Not too bad. That was a really boring race. I'm sure I'll probably cut that down in editing. So you probably, I don't know how much of that you've just seen, but man, that was a snoozer. So, uh, yeah. Now the challenge completed. I feel like I've said that 400 times in this video already. All right, we got four more fans. Oh, baby. We're moving up in the world. And we, of course, finished that challenge. We got another tweet. This one is actually congratulating us. Come on, give us a ride. Hey, there you go. We got a ride. So let's see. And this is a five-star team. So we got to get a top three finish. That ought to be interesting. Off the final corner. Close to that wall. And it's a pole lap right on all right put it on the pole let's jump right in here ready to go green on the pole and we are underway here at whatever track this is is this vegas this is vegas so uh out to the early lead already though i got really wide off of that corner turn two back onto the front stretch so this is a small one they're all small except for Jefferson which of course we didn't get an offer for which I would have really wanted to try that out because I haven't even raced there yet that's a wall scrape that's not what we need but we're off to a commanding lead already this might be over before it even started all right well maybe some lap traffic here will make this interesting as I just set my fastest lap of the race and uh Got some lappers here, so let's try to make our way through these guys without too much fuss. Pass underneath here, running pretty clean, having a nice, just clean, solid race, just dominating in first. And even the lappers aren't making it all that much interesting because they're just riding around slow and off the pace. Looking around with the camera so weird to me now. And one lap to go. In the most barring race in a row, part two. Just been dominating this race. Maybe it is too easy on the hard difficulty. Maybe we gotta bump it up the legend. We might have to look into that. Scrape the wall, doesn't matter. We get the win by a commanding lead. I don't know, I bet we had 20 seconds. So let's do a burnout on the dirt. Not sure how this is gonna work. Oh yeah. That's what I like to see. Look at them burn the rubber out there on some dirt. Do a donut. Get donut going here. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't really get the same effect on the dirt. It really doesn't matter as much. Uh, maybe we'll get a pavement win uh, in, a, in a, I don't know, hopefully soon. Sooner rather than later. And then we can show off our burnout skills like crash into the wall. I remember Denny Hamlin did that Pokemon one time. And we'll collect our first trophy of career mode with a win at Las Vegas. The dirt track. So, not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, that is another hot seat in the books. 
That is a top five or a, a five star ride rather. Got a couple more tweets. They're just shocked that I've won a race apparently. And that'll do it for that season. So uh, now we have decisions to make and I think we're going to save those for the next episode. So uh, we get to either join a team or start one. Tune in next time to find out what we're going to do. And uh, thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.